Follow my keep profession on the key possession. I'm OD aggressive when I run the rock. See me flexing in the winning section. If they press a bombing on them off the top, slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. Toss a bullet, hit you in the chest, and send a burn across your face from mind to slot. Please don't test them, I bring heat and brush it. Have my hitter brush, you move you off the spot. Slump a hater, leave them in the field. Oh, I'm in the kitchen whipping up a dot. Took it from the bottom to the top. Certified man and money shot. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys my favorite offense from college football and Madden 25 because it's the same formation. I already broke this formation down in my Kansas City Chiefs offensive ebook. And since I've been changing teams in college football 25, one of my favorite teams to use, which I used in yesterday's video, is the Texas State Bobcats who just happen to have the exact same formation and it works the exact same way. So I'm gonna show you guys a one play touchdown from this formation that works in both games and can score against every defense in both games in multiple ways. But before I do, if you guys wanna see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And if you need more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pinned comment. The formation is going to be the gun tight open, which like I said, I already broke down a full breakdown in my Kansas City Chiefs offensive eBook. The play itself is going to be the slot post. And the most important position is gonna be this slot receiver right here, because he's gonna be running the post route that's gonna be scoring most of the time. Although we also are gonna have one play touchdown to uh, this guy here. So just make sure your best two receivers are in this these two positions with your best receiver being in this position here now for the purposes of this video pretty much every setup is going to be the same and I'm going to show you guys a one play touchdown going from defense to defense starting with Tampa 2 but if there are any differences on how to set up a play against a specific defense I will point that out now for this first player you don't have to make any adjustments you just have to make a good throw to this X receiver as you can see right here he has space above the cornerback and outside the safety and that's because this receiver here gets over the top of the cornerback who typically won't turn around based on the fact that there's a drag coming into his area that's going to draw his attention so if i look back to the quarterback i'm throwing the ball before he even gets even with this cornerback because i know the cornerback's not going to turn around and even if he does he's going to lose acceleration because i'm in a dead sprint you can see how hard it is for him to turn around so since i'm in a dead sprint all i have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety and we have a very easy catch around one play touchdown even though aj brown's not necessarily the fastest receiver in the game for college football, like I said, I'm going to be using the Texas State Bobcats offense who have the exact same play. And the next play we're going to go over is going to be the cover three sky. For pretty much all these defenses, one of my goals is going to be not to move any of these receivers, although you can get a lot of advantages by moving these receivers around. But I'm going to put the B receiver here in a corner route, and then I'm also going to put him all the way down as low as I can go and block the running back. That corner route will hold down the outside cornerback while the wide corner, once again, gets open over the top. I just have to buy some time because we're going against the best defense in the entire game. And you can see how easy that is as that cornerback was nowhere to be found. And this works the exact same way as it does in Madden. As you can see, that corner route's going to hold that cornerback down to the point where once this guy crosses the safety, he's just going to be wide open as there's just nobody in front of him. And it's going to work the same way in Madden, but we're going to actually pick a cover three match just to show a slightly different variation. And you can see it works the exact same way as we just roll out to buy ourselves a little bit of time, and it's the exact same thing. Next up, we're going to go over cover four match. Cover 4 is one of the easiest defenses to beat. You just have to have five receivers at the line of scrimmage that are all running routes over 10 yards. And this is the same way when it comes to Madden. So we're going to break our rule about motions and we're going to motion out this running back and put him on a curl. And then we're also going to put the A tight end on a curl. And that's all you really got to do to glitch out this defense. You're going to see the Y receiver is just wide open over the middle, completely uncovered. This is typical of Cover 4 if you know how to beat this defense. And this is not a glitch. This is just how the defense is designed as there's not enough defense zones to cover all these receivers making this post route wide open down the field for a very easy one play touchdown just to show you guys the exact same setup works on madden 25 as well as once again this receiver is wide open although you can see there was a little bit tighter coverage if you can call it that even though the guy was still open by about five yards next up at madden we're going to show cover four regular this is non-matching cover four drop 
Now for cover four, since I don't want to motion anybody out, all I really have to do is put the B receiver on a 10 yard out route, which is going to be smart routing him or custom stemming him to this length. That's all that really matters. Then block the running back. And all I really have to do is buy a little bit of time in the pocket while this wide receiver crosses the field, which will be easy because typically you only have three pass rushes, which is not really going to give you a lot of pass rush. And you can see how that cornerback is held down by that 10 yard out route on the opposite side of the field while this receiver crosses both safeties for another easy catch and run one play touchdown. Now I switched over to college because I want to show you guys a second setup for cover four, which is probably easier, but I have to break my, uh, my motion rule one more time. 10 yard out routes are cool, but a better route to use is going to be a comeback route, which you only get if you motion out the receiver. So I have to motion them out, which like I said, I don't necessarily want to make too many motions because I don't want to give that, you know, give my opponent any tells, but you could always make fake motions on run plays and stuff like that throughout the game. But this is going to help you out to keep that cornerback down even more because this is just a much better uh, option as I really break the pocket there. And you can see the cornerback is much further down. And that's because outside cornerbacks in that type of drop are designed to bite on comeback routes the most as you can see the cornerback drops back there on that comeback route leaving this guy wide open as he crosses the field once again for a very easy catch and a one play touchdown but you can use either setup so don't feel like one setup is for college and one setup is for madden as you can see right here we're doing the exact same thing the cornerback is nowhere to be found and we have another very easy play to the corner Next up, we'll go over cover zero. Now there's more than one way to run this once again, so I'll show you in both college and Madden, but, the, but both setups work in both games. All you really gotta do is change the blocking structure for this first one by putting the running back on a block and release, and then just custom, you know, basically custom slide uh, until you're picking up the blitz. So this is pretty much gonna pick up the blitz that I picked. Uh, as far as the rest of the play, you don't have to make any adjustments, but I find that custom stemming the Y receiver down is gonna help him get open faster, which is gonna be good since I have an all out blitz coming my way. And you can see, once again, safeties don't do a very good job of covering post routes, even if the receiver isn't that great. It's going to be the same setup in college, but you could also throw it to the running back. You're just going to need an additional blocker. So you can really motion snap any receiver you want. And you'll see how the running back here is going to be a very good option, as they typically run right past their defensive player, as wheel routes are very powerful when it comes to beating man coverage. So we had to break our motion rule again, but you can see how this running back here, once he turns up field, is going to get past just about any man defender which is going to give you two different one play touchdowns against this defense. Next up, we're going to go over cover one hole. The same way this wheel route beats man cover zero, it's also going to beat man cover one, as you really just have to get a pass lead away as soon as he bumps into that defender. As you can see right here, we get a very easy catch and run against this defense as well. And that's because man defenders don't flip their hips and run without losing acceleration. As you can see, he runs right past them. But the post route works the same way it did in Madden. So we're just going to block the running back this time, make a decision before the snap, as we'll always have check downs of the crossing receivers. And you'll notice that the Y receiver will cross the field the exact same way and beat his man coverage defender every single time. As you can see right here, we're using one of the worst teams in the game against one of the best teams in the game and this still isn't good enough to cover this route as we have the best safety in the game getting completely cooked in double coverage for another one play touchdown and then last but not least we got cover two man in college football i find it's best to custom stem this y receiver up a little bit and if you really want to pull these safeties apart motion out the b receiver and that will help to pull the safety apart even more as you can see right here this guy is going to get separation the exact same way and the extra five yards make sure that i get it over the top of the safety so that's it. That's the video. I just showed you guys a one-play touchdown against every single defense in both college football and Madden. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I try to cover both at the same time, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I have more tip videos to both games popping up on the screen. So if you want to check them out, just click the links. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.